Hey y'all, let's check out Astoria. Hey y'all, welcome to day 26 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're going to be checking out Astoria. This is a Zen garden in forest themed Sam. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So today I wanted something that was just going to be real chill and very appropriate for walking around. So this is what I came up with. So we have some silver accessories today. I really, really like these earrings. And got my little necklace goings on. I some silver um, accessories as far as like the watch and the bracelets. Got my water because you know we're going to stay hydrated. This is some strawberry infused water. I have my little waist bag and then let's look at the shoes just some regular degular schmegular little sneakers gonna be very very cool and calm to walk around in so this is the outfit you guys so let's go ahead and continue so i love all the sounds here um this land is tp friendly and i am not in the shared environment um, it is about 8 o'clock in Second Life right now, so everything is pretty dark at this time. So just went with something just a little, little lighter so that we can see things. The shared environment wasn't bad, but I just kind of felt like for this video, I just wanted things to be a little bit brighter because this space um does have like some colorful aspects to it and i didn't want it to be missed with the lighting or the lack of lighting so this is the zen garden area and it's very very nice it has a very tranquil feel to it i was here for a little bit it was it was a lady here she didn't have any clothes on then the pants that she had on like the whole butt was out and the whole crotch was out i said i don't i said man i don't know what you think this is but this is a moderate land so if people wanted to bring their kids that was very very off-putting but she eventually left thankfully because i'm like oh ma'am i don't know what you came here for then she like tp'd in her friend and he was completely naked i said wait a minute wait a minute sometimes they just do way too much in second life this is really really pretty this little pond oh, with the little birdies we've been seeing so many birds you guys i know birdies we've been seeing so many birds lately on these lands and i love it the beautiful little butterflies they have ample um sitting space here i love how they have the little elevations so it makes the space feel um larger than what's that what is actually going on when i panned out it did look like it was about a sim so quite a bit of space i don't know what's really going on in this forest but we shall see when i panned out it was just a bunch of trees so the last time i ran into um a scenery like that when i panned out it was an amazing space so i am really excited to actually go into the woods to see what is going to be in store so this space does have a um like a oriental japanese chinese type um vibe to it and i really do like that um of course you guys know that's one of my favorite um landscaping what, what am i trying to say that's one of my favorite like landscaping concepts for lack of a better word i feel like it's a better word uh, landscaping themes there we go there we go there we go beautiful water I love the um, like the Japanese inspired themes on the lands. Beautiful. They always are top tier. I don't know if it's just easier to find um, those types of things in Second Life. I really don't know. But when I tell you they're able to put together some of the most pretty and just so tranquil looking um, designs together when it is like a Japanese inspired type space. And I always love it, I always love it because it's always super nice. So they have this 
like meditation zen space i love all the water and all the water sounds i love the birdies and the different elevations this is a beautiful little bridge just to kind of take you over to um just another smaller space i really like that so the more videos i make the more i learn about the different features that um i can use within second life so i've been really enjoying the camera smoothing options but the issue that i've been facing is that it doesn't stay like i find myself always having to um, readjust the smoothing sometimes it'll stay the whole video but then sometimes it just doesn't and so that's really something that I have been trying to figure out. I'm like, is that just something that happens and I'll just have to constantly readjust it? It's that's okay if that's what it is, but it's one of those things where like I would like I would like to know. You know, I would really like to know. I'm in the Firestorm viewer, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I haven't even tried um Black Dragon. I've just gotten back used to um using the Firestorm viewer what's funny is when i was on the black dragon i was like i'm never going back to firestorm because now that i have a taste of black dragon this is like really where i want to be and although that is partially true um i learned how to maneuver around second life initially in the second life viewer but shortly after the second life viewer I was on uh, the Firestorm viewer and the Firestorm viewer has really been one of my, y'all know I love the water, has really been one of my main, um, the main viewers that I have used. So I'm very, very extremely familiar with the Firestorm viewer. So although Black Dragon has loads of great graphics and things like that, for me, I don't really like their shared environments um, as is. On the Firestorm viewer, I like their shared environments much, much better. So they have a little, like a little meditation spot here. What's in here? Okay. This is like a nice little zen area where you can sit. They have cushions so multiple people can be in here. Be present, mindful, grateful, and kind. I love that. So this is a really nice small space that you could just come and chill in and just kind of vibe out, have a little zen experience up in this space. I love this little fire pit. Very nice. The sounds are just so calming here. I really, really love it. Between the water and the birds and just like the chimes, I love it. So let's go check out this forest. So when you come into the forest, they do offer um, a couple's walker as well as like a little dance. Um, you could do like dances and things like that, like a little dance hood. I don't know if this is a, just like a decorative horse or if this is like a horse that has been left out here if somebody was riding it so we'll see if they offer like horse uh, horseback riding they definitely have the path for it so we'll definitely you know we'll, we'll look around and, and see what we can see so this is cute so they have like a little I guess it's like a little common area while you're walking it's one of those things where it's like you're walking and you've been walking 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 and then you're like hungry you can stop here and get you a little snack. So what is this? A little pastry cart? Are these like donuts? Let's see. Let's see what they got you guys. Okay. So this is really cute. Like a little donut stand. Okay. Everything's looks, everything looks so yummy. Okay. I love it. The little kid donuts. Super cute. Oh, they have the, the little monsters ink one. So it has a chair option. So I guess you can um, sit and kind of role play in this space. 
really nice pictures can be taken here for sure wait a minute i want to see this one it was it was given berry and i love a good berry donut yeah look how pretty that is i love it y'all already know if i see some food i'm, I'm we, we're gonna be looking at the food if i see the food okay so let's see what's over here so we have some ice cream you know what they had this ice cream truck in my candy topia vlog and it was so yummy looking and it looks just as decadent as ever so this is super cute they have the little chairs in here i think you probably could sit in these chairs yeah so you can role play in the little ice cream truck as well i do like that with the little register everything looks very like cartoony in here it was really really perfect for um candytopia i really really liked how they had everything set out it was really really yummy looking it really makes you want something sweet to eat. What's on this table? These flowers are pretty. Oh, I love these little chairs with like the little, these look like little grapefruit slices. They might be supposed to be orange slices, but they color, colored them like pink, so they look like grapefruit. They have the little Biscoff cookies with the little drink and some pretty flowers. So this is a really nice common space that you can come and chill at. So as you walk, they do have little markers to show you um, where you can find different things. Horses, okay, so they probably do have like, well, I'm assuming that they do have a place where you can ride horses. This is a really nice little chill space. It's lots of paths here, lots of paths. So I would have a very difficult time believing that they don't offer horseback riding because they definitely have the paths for it. Oh, there's some horses up there. They have little sitting spaces over here with the benches. Also, you can ride the horses. Okay, so they do offer horseback riding, very nice. Do they offer, these are the little, the little couple walker things. I want you guys to see what it looks like so you don't miss it because I almost did. Couples and walk, couples and walker and it's dances in here also. This is, you can get bikes here. If you want to ride a bike, you can get you a bike or you can go on a little horseback riding tour. And get you some roller skates so it's a this is a very interactive space um this is going to be great for kids it is a moderate sam so the kitties would be welcome here i love all the little balloons i don't know if it gave you like a balloon or something it doesn't seem to but those balloons are super adorable so they definitely made the spaces um, kid friendly and they gave you a multitude of ways to get around here other than just walking. So you really can, you know, have a real nice um, interactive time here. I really do like that. So they have a little hot dog stand. Not they made it like a romantic hot dog stand. I'm not mad at that. They said, listen, do you want some breakfast or do you want some hot dogs? Because you can have both if you like that looks like some beef stew and some sausage and eggs with the baguette cute little hot dog stand with the little what do we have here a burger very nice a flame broiled it's giving this one is not done yet but the one on the bun is it's it's giving Burger King, you know, that that's the vibe. I love all of the little sitting spaces and how they have like just these common spaces. So they're not like places to eat all around. It's just in certain areas. Um, they have just kind of sectioned off spots where you can come and relax and eat. And I really do like that because when you are walking, some of the paths are a little tighter. They're more or less on like dirt roads. But then when you get to the spaces, when you get to the spaces that you can eat at, the ground kind of looks like it's like a cement, like a asphalt type vibe to it. 
so they do separate the spaces from where you can eat from where you can like walk around and be on like the bike path this horse is beautiful he he running real wild so i'm gonna give him his space in a little bit see the little buckets oh okay oh you can feed them how nice okay I like that these last couple of lands, well, the last one for sure, they have, um, they've made things um, a lot more kid friendly. I do like that. Kids are a really big thing in Second Life, so I really do like that they are making sure that they have a space for the kids to come. Even if it's just like you want to bring the kids along and you know, you and your partner want to just be able to like chill out and vibe out. The kids can stay occupied while you kind of have your little me time on the side. And I really like that. So see, just like that other land that I went to that had, um, when I panned out, it was just all trees. That land was beautiful. I think that was the Fay land that I was at. It was gorgeous. Oh, it was gorgeous. So now when I pan out and I just see um, that, like all trees, I know there's gonna be some really nice goodies in there. So this is the dance area. So you can come, you can dance. They have little sitting spaces up here. Very, very um, picturesque. A lot of the spaces here, all of the spaces here are very picturesque. And I really, really like that. So do you see how when you're not in the common area for food, the ground is very like a grassy, mossy type um, ground. So they have a little playground. They definitely built this land with children in mind, for sure, for sure. So this is gonna be an excellent place to bring the kitties, just for like a little day of relaxation and fun time. I think the kids will really, really love this. I love this um, this camper. This is really nice. I love all the colors in here. They have meshed everything together very, very well. So they have like the little sleeping area and then they have the little kitchen area with the stove and things like that. I like this. I like how they have the little upper area where you can come and chill out up here and just really enjoy yourself. I love the pink. The pinks in Second Life are so pretty because they make them like a really, really pretty pastel type pink. And they always hit. They never miss. I love it. These are like all time. When you see these, you know, it's going to be a good time. These are those. We finna chill out chairs in my opinion i love this can i get on here yay i love it this is cute i'm swinging how fun i love it i love how everything is spaced out here it really just gives you the feel of having completely separate spaces from one another. It's like if you're in the playground area, it feels like that's all that they have here is a playground area. If you're in the food area, it feels like all that they have here is the food area. The way that they placed the trees was so um, strategic that it, it makes it where you have to walk around in order to be able to really explore and experience the things that they have here. And I really, really think that that is a super clever way to get people to walk around these lands. So you guys, I really had so much fun checking out Astoria with you all. There's still loads to see and do here. Make sure you bring your kitties here so that they can enjoy this space as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. The landmark to this place will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.